Anna asks, how can I view my Google Calendar in Microsoft Teams? Ah, uh, so that's that's an interesting one because a lot of people are thinking of it more like I have calendar in Teams. And when I click on calendar, I want to see mine and I want to see my Google and I want to see my senior leaders so because I have to manage it and I want to no, it's literally just tied to your own personal calendar. That's a little different than if I want to show it and I'm in a team. And I have had it set up where I had my own just personal team where it was literally just for me and I put a ton of stuff in there including uh, a, a calendar. It was a it was a um, uh, Apple calendar that it was sort of on the personals, and I dropped that in, um, and had other calendars from another client that was just for me. So I kind of created my own team personal space. But if you're putting it into a team channel, you know you've got tabs, and in those tabs you can do a just a web, you know, a, a web, web tab. Right. But it's part. only for you with your login. Right. So it's not like anyone else is going to be able to see it. Uh, it will be frustrating for your team members if you do put it in. Well, so, if there was know, a shared calendar, reason? if there's something like that, I mean, this is the, always the, it's one of the things that I love about teams is that if there's a shared resource where maybe there's 10 of us on the team, but only two of us have access to that calendar, we can still add it to the tab and only the two of us mm -hmm. with the login, you still have to log in to get to it, but it's right there. It's in the tab in the, in the team, but you, yeah. you're right. There is no, uh, unless there's a public a Google public calendar, you know, option that you can express yeah. as a, you know, as, as a, a, a you know, HTTPS site. Yeah. So um, the alternative of what I did was because I have multiple calendars across multiple things, I have uh, automate. So I've set up an automate that if I add something to my personal, it puts it onto my business and and I just have it where it's syncing across them all. Um, but I don't put my business onto my personal. I only put my personal onto my business because it would just make no sense. So I can at least go to my personal and go, what have I got going on? Um, so then because I've got that automate flowing in, I can then see it in Teams in my calendar because it's a personal item. And I just start every time I create something that's in the personal space, I'll put a P in front of. So I know that on my calendar, that's something from my personal Google or my personal Apple or my personal whatever it is, the calendar that I'm bringing in. So it was an alternative way for me to be able to see it inside Teams. So I wasn't missing some of my personal stuff, or I was inviting on my calendar my business one so that it would at least drop in and I could accept the invite on my. So there's a couple of things that I've done over the past um, to try and flow things through so I wasn't missing personal stuff. I'll kind of add on to what you were saying, Christy, about adding it as a tab and a channel. The only thing that I could see that 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 could be there might be a little confusion or frustration is for the ones that don't have permission to that calendar when they try to go to the tab, wondering why it's not loading. Um, mm -hmm. So that that's the only thing I would caution on that is if there are a lot of people in there, like Christian, you were saying, if there's just two and they're the only ones and they have access to the calendar, great. Um, a couple of other things to think through is what do you have in that calendar? Maybe this could be a good option if, you know, if this is for meetings and things that you have, I'm not sure, probably not Microsoft Teams meetings, but we do have that new channel calendar. Uh, that might be something that you could approach um, doing. And if this is maybe not the Teams business or work version, if it's the personal version, you can add a Google Calendar in. So if you go to the settings and into notifications, you'll see an option in there for you to connect your Google Calendar. So just a thought, probably not the personal version you're using. That's the, the Teams for Life is what it used to be called. Uh, but if it is, we have a link there for, for that that we can share. One other possible option, I've not gone into <laughs> see if there's one that's created, but is like using an automation, like if this, then that, um, to if for any calendar item created on your Google Calendar, uh, send or create a similar you know link over to my uh, Office 365. So there's a lot of those kinds of automations that are out there. Um, again, there are other tools, uh, mm -hmm. not just uh, if this and that. Um, but again, it you can automate between that. Mm -hmm. And we've talked about, and because we get calendar questions all the time in this series, um, one of the other things that I do, I, I, this isn't quite the answer. Um, I don't use Google Calendar because again, it's a nightmare to keep things up to date with all the Microsoft stuff that, that I do. And it's do not receiving invites very well at the moment either. Right. <laughs> but uh, no, it's not. Know, it, 
It's but it, 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 so using a third party calendaring tool that looks at the calendars in both in, in multiple locations to make sure that if somebody's scheduling something, it's not overlapping. So that does exist today. I use Calendly. Calendly. I know there's a mm-hmm. number of apps that are out there, mm-hmm. which you can connect and point to your Google calendar, your Microsoft calendar, your Apple calendars. And so when somebody's requesting time and wants to book time with you, it won't schedule something if it's going to overlap on one of those calendars. So, I mean, that's just a brilliant solution. Not quite what this question is asking, um, what Anna's asking, but again, something else to look at. Indeed.